everyone, it's Melody once again, and today we are going to be doing the third and final video um, in our Cyber Commander series. In today's video, we're going to be covering uh, more of the advanced features of the Cyber Commander. Uh, we'll cover uh, naming the individual channels, we're going to cover the grouping feature, and we'll also go over the feature that everybody's the most excited to learn about, which is the built-in flash meter. Uh, we felt that it would be easiest to demonstrate these features uh, by, uh, you know, staging uh, an actual photo shoot. So with that said, uh, I would like to introduce our friend and photographer Jeff Carpenter of Ready Light Media. Hey Melody, thanks for having me. The Cyber Commander is a great tool for me as a photographer and I'm really excited to share some of the features I use on a regular basis. So let's go and get started. So what a lot of you may not know is that you don't actually have to use the Cyber Commander on top of your camera. If you've got the CyberSync transmitter and everything's set to the same frequency, you can actually trigger the lights from the transmitter and you control everything from the Cyber Commander. This is really convenient when you're trying to meter the lights and you don't have to pull the Cyber Commander off the camera every time you want to meter. The first feature we're going to talk about today is naming your channels. Naming your channels might not seem like a really important thing to do, but when you're using a multi-light setup like I have here today, it's really easy to get confused between what channel your backlight's on and what channel your main light's on. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to name my channels, uh, that way I can keep everything organized and alleviate any confusion that I might have during my shoot. So the naming function can be found on the main setup section of the Cyber Commander. Once you get to that screen, you're going to scroll up or down until you get the names highlighted. We're going to push in on the right joystick like a button. And we're going to go ahead and scroll left or right until we get to channel 1. So channel 1 for me is going to be my main light. And that's actually the default uh, highlighted uh, name. So we're just going to leave that one there. Now we're going to scroll over to channel 2, which is my hair light. So I'm going to scroll down twice until I get to hair light. And now we're just going to name the background lights, which is channel 3. And we're going to scroll down until we get to the background light highlighted. And that's really all you have to do. So the next thing we're going to talk about is grouping. Uh, and again, when you're using a multi-light setup, it's, an, it's a good habit to get into to group your lights um, so you don't have to control everything all at one time. So in this case, I'm going to group my main light and my hair light together so that way I can kill my background lights and turn it gray when the time comes. So for right now, we're just going to go through and show you how to add the lights to a certain group. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll over with the right joystick to the main uh, setup menu and we're going to scroll up or down until groups is highlighted. We're going to push in the right joystick like a button and you'll notice that all my lights just turned off and that's because I haven't added any lights to a group yet. And another thing to keep in mind is we're actually going to add these lights onto group 8 instead of group 1 which seems like the logical thing to do. And the reason we do that is because Everything when it's set to all, rather than scrolling through 16 channels to get to group 1, we can just scroll left one time and get to group 8. It's a lot quicker, it's just easier for me to do that and I know it'll be easier for you as well. So we're going to scroll over to group 8 and we're going to take channel 1 and on the right joystick we're going to push that up where it says add remove channel. So we're going to add channel 1 which is my main light to group 8 and notice that light turned on and then we're also going to scroll up on the left joystick to where it says channel 2 and we're also going to add that one by pushing up on the right joystick to channel or to group 8 as well. So notice both of these lights are on and that's all we have to do to set up group 8. 
So if we go back to the flash adjustment menu, we're currently in group eight. If I just go once with the left joystick over, that'll be all, and then my backlights will kick back on. Um, having them grouped set up like this, again, just really makes it easy to switch to having two different looks with, right now I've got a high key look, go to group eight, I've got kind of a light gray look. It just kind of allows me to change the look of my image without completely changing my light setup. The final feature we're gonna talk about today, which is actually my favorite, is the flash meter. Uh, it's really cool, it's a flash meter built right into the Cyber Commander. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go scroll back over to the main setup menu and highlight the feature that says flash meter and we're gonna click in on the right joystick like a button. And all you have to do to set up your flash meter, it's very simple, is just make sure that your ISO and your shutter speed match with what your camera has. So in my case today, I'm shooting at 1 250th of a second at ISO 100. So I just have to make sure that my ISO and my shutter speed match, and then I'll meter and all the lights will meter to what my camera needs. All right, now that I've set up my groups and I've named my channels and then also set up my flash meter here on the Cyber Commander, uh, we're here in the studio. I've got Matthew with me. He approached me about getting some headshots for his uh, blog and website. And I wanted to give him a couple different options uh, between a high key and kind of a soft gray background. So the setup we have right now, we've got a four light setup. I've got two lights just kind of blasting into the background. And the way I've got my groups set up, is I can just kill my background lights and that turns it into a soft gray uh, in case he wants to do an outfit change. Just gives you a different look without completely changing the light setup. Before we get started, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna meter each individual channel so I can get the correct uh, exposure for each light. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna meter channel one, which is my main light. And I'm just gonna hold this right under his chin. And on my camera, I'm at F8. And I'm a little under right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and increase the power just a little bit so I can get F8 on the top of the uh, meter reading on the top of the Cyber Commander. Uh, once I've got that set, I'm gonna go to channel two, which is my hair light. And I'll do the same thing. And I want that one to be a little, about a one stop under my key light. And uh, so that's right at five, six. And then finally, I'm gonna meter channel three which is the background. And one or two stops over for that is usually pretty good. So we'll go ahead and increase that to F11 and that should be good. So we'll go and take some test shots and we'll see how it looks. Now that we got some test shots with the high key background, uh, we're gonna go ahead and make it, a, make it a gray background. And all you have to do for that, since I've set up my groups uh, previous to the shoot, all I have to do is switch over to uh, group eight. And what that does, that kills the background lights. So just the main light and the hair light are active. Jeff, thanks so much for helping us out today. Absolutely. I'm just really happy to share some of the features of the Cyber Commander that have really helped me out as a photographer, and hopefully you guys can understand the benefits of having one for yourselves. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Of course, if you have further questions, you can always give us a call at 1-800-443-5542. You can also send us an email at info at paulcbuff.com. We're here Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Central Time. Bye.